Two years ago, a gunman walked into the Chabad of Poway and opened fire. Lori Gilbert Kay was killed and three other people were wounded. News 8's Brandon Lewis looks back at that day and how the Sheriff's Department is working to prepare San Diegans should they find themselves in an active shooter scenario. Now, Carlo and Marceau, the Anti-Defamation League, recognized the deputies who responded to that shooting. And in that time, they've worked to also train others in the community so they can also be prepared should an active shooter happen where they are. It was chaos when we first got there. Detective Jess Allensworth was among the first deputies to arrive at Chabad of Poway two years ago, minutes after a gunman walked in and opened fire. With a scene like that, obviously, you got to do your best to control chaos. And that's what it was. A witness gave him the license plate of the suspect, which he radioed in. San Diego police officers spotted him a few miles away. Back on scene, Allensworth tried to help the wounded. I've been asked, um, how do I cope with these incidents? And what I do is I, I, I take that energy and I, I, I channel it into helping others prepare. So if they are faced with such a critical incident, they, they have a little bit more uh, knowledge and, and a little bit more preparedness to, on how to deal with them. He was familiar with the Chabad because six months earlier, he taught an active shooter preparedness class there. It highlights the run, hide, fight lessons. One of the attendees was Oscar Stewart, who fought back. Did you say anything to the defendant as you approached him? I told him I was going to kill him. And why did you say that? I was um, trying to throw him off. Um, you know, I, so I yelled, I didn't say it very politely. I yelled it and I, I used uh, profanities also. Um, and I screamed it out really loud and I kept screaming at him. Allensworth teaches these classes across the county. For him, it's personal. He was also one of the deputies who responded to the Santana High School shooting. I attended Santana High School. I graduated from there. So for me, it was truly hitting home. He recommends all families make a plan and think about how they would handle a similar situation. Of course, the hope is you'll never need it, but as it was two years ago, that's not always the case. That's why we do what we can to uh, prevent this from happening at all. Not just how to react, but uh, trying to keep it from happening at all. The Sheriff's Department offers its free active shooter training to nonprofits, places of worship, and employers. If you're interested and are in the Sheriff's jurisdiction, you can contact your local substation.